And we are back. What's up guys? How's it going? Mark from 408. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe, hit uh, comments and notifications. You got Mr. Chris today. Yeah. What's that? I do some motos today. Some motos with the drift hero. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we figured we'd get the shredder out too. It's been a while. It's been a while um, since we had uh, this thing out. They are coming out with electric ones soon. They just posted a video on YouTube somewhere. Just type in electric DTV shredder if you want to see it. But so hopefully, you know, by sometime in the new year, we'll get our hands on one. But for now, we're gonna rip this thing and then we're gonna head down the track. We had a storm all night, actually. It was pretty wild. Yeah. I mean, there was a tornado. I think we live in Tornado Alley now because there's been what, five, six this year? So yeah, far? it's been nuts this year. Yeah, so there's one up by, I think, Goggers last night. But, uh, Oh yeah, the F-150, we're gonna pull her out of the shrubs, see if we can jump it again, and if not, we're gonna fill the engine full of Dr. Pepper, so. All right, let's see this thing. Don't wheelie and drift into my truck. I'll take my car instead. <laughs> the chain has finally stretched itself out so far that we can't tighten it anymore. So we gotta take a link out, but we're too lazy to do that today, so. I'm gonna make it 50 feet and the chain's gonna fall off. Yeah, exactly. Now I'm going to drive this thing. I wonder if I need two hands. Oh yeah, I can do it. So we have realized that this thing is faster. But I think this thing is more fun. That joke off. Got all the cars here today. So I might get rid of my truck too. We'll see. I'm kind of sick of driving a platinum. I want something else. And we're gonna have a raffle soon as well. And a giveaway. I forgot we get to announce the giveaway today. Really? Yeah, nice to wall one. Alright, race ya. He's gone. I cut the lawn last night. Well, that lawn at least. <laughs> I'm not going that way. Might not make it back. Let me swip the, switch the camera on here. There we go. Seems like you cut the lawn here and 10 minutes later you gotta cut it again. Almost to make her back up, eh? He's a drift hero. You were a drift, you ever been a drift hero? Alright, let's uh, toss these things away. We'll do the DeWalt contest and sure. we'll keep an eye out. Uh, go on the Instagram Reels. That's where the DeWalt contest will be if you want to enter. It'll be up for like a week or so. Started with the D. Well, it looked dryish from the house down here, but it is definitely muddy. Look at that. Oh well, I'm heading to the dealership later. Maybe get rid of this thing. We'll see. A little puddle right there. At least the big puddle's full again. Should we take the platinum through there before we get rid of it? Well. All right. Let's see if this thing uh, fires up. We had a little issues with it the other day with Brad. It didn't seem to want to go. I mean, we did launch it through the puddle a few too many times so now. yeah now that it doesn't have a back window Ugh. turns out ricochets are a real thing <laughs> whoops Ugh. couple miners so if this doesn't start then we're gonna use my truck and pull the uh you gotta just lift that bar up Oh, you didn't release her. There you go. Let's see what we got here. There it goes. There you go. It doesn't stay out by itself either. Thanks. 
thanks for the notice. Yeah. Just a heads up, you might crush your hands. I'll rig the old NOCO up. This thing Frick. is a lifesaver. I know, NOCO gets so much advertising for us. They don't even sponsor us, but we'll help them out, I'm sure. Yeah, if you guys ever need a booster, I just keep this thing in my truck and, yeah, literally pull over on the side of the road, boost people's cars. We boosted probably over 100 cars down here with it. I've gone through a few of them, but that was my fault. I accidentally boosted the car and then launched it and left it inside. So we're showing 12.4. Will it run? What's your What's your thoughts, Chris? I don't know. I don't know. Brad's not here. I think he can turn it over. <laughs> yeah, Brad was probably just faking it. No, oh, this is when Jay went through the puddle the other day. All right. Still got a cigarette lighter in there. I don't make those anymore. Ah! Runs like a charm! Oh. You might have to leave it on it for a little bit. Jesus Christ! The radio went off. Yeah, just leave it on there. All right, let's grab the Yankum rope and uh, give her a Yankum. Jigs. <laughs> You can just set it down. I'll just put this sideways. Somehow. Good enough. All right. Sure. Sure, sure. All right, let's see how far we make it in this bad boy. That's really old F-150 over there. Come on, girl. There we go. 268. We put seven kilometers on it. That looks like hell. Of course. <laughs> we'll pop that hood again. The Noko must have fell off. And two. <laughs> Slapper in four by four high. Grab the four cog there. There you got a dog leash. Got the iPhone charger. Nothing in here. How do you eject it? No CDs for us. I wonder if the cigarette lighter still works. All right, usually I'm making uh, Dodge jokes about the Ford pulling it out, but today the Ford, or the Dodge is gonna pull the, the Ford out. I forgot, I have no power steering either. A little tough trying to film and turn here. All right, put the camera down. We are golden. It's nice with a back window. So much room for opportunity. How far back to where you are? Are we gonna give her a hard yank? I think so. Oh yeah, I'll back up a little more. Yeah, so there's a couple of big rocks there. I don't know how well this is gonna go. Well, one rock was moved. I think it's Deep gonna 20. go good. We got this fancy brand new pre-owned Yankum rope. Yep. She's rated for 19,000 pounds. Yes, there is a link with a discount code below. So, we've only used it a couple times, but as you can see, it is on a giant boulder. Two giant we're boulders. We're going to cross out Brad and Ray Jaber. No. Write, did you write both of them? No. <laughs> Jay, that wasn't very nice. Either way. Hopefully, we don't wreck too much stuff pulling it off that rock, but, you know, it's the price you pay, right? So, hopefully, we can get this off, start her up, and... Maybe jump it again, maybe not. That's like tow truck drivers say. I'm not gonna do any more damage taking it out as you did putting it in. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's uh, up. let's get the shackle out of here and hook this Yankum up. Probably a good idea. Yeah. Got the airbag turned off? Have to take another run out of here. Yeah. Almost. I get a better angle here. What do you think, people? Two, three tries. That's number three. Still on the rock a little. 
One more. It died. We're almost there. Yeah, it must have. Holy crap, that can't come well. Yeah. Like I had my seatbelt on and I didn't even, like there was a little, but it was, it's so elastic. Oh, nice springy, elasticy. Beauty. All right, here we go. Is it on now? Oh, it's probably in the hole. Here we go. Oh, it's probably uh, put her in neutral. Yeah, it's probably put her in neutral. Yeah, that's probably good. <laughs> All right, you got the keys? I think they're still in it. Somebody could have stole it. Yeah, that's that rock. <laughs> yeah. Big rocks. All right. Ugh. Oh. Maybe she'll just go. No. No keys. No keys in it. No keys in it. No keys. Well, that complicates things a little bit. Back to the house. All right. Just credit. Oh, it's muddy out today. She's slippery. Oh, one handed steering. Oh. Come on. There you go. Ah. Piece of cake. Oh, come on. Turn. Ah. Turn. Turn. Don't hit the bins. All right. Sure he's done. Ooh. That was easy, eh? Yeah. Definitely works a lot better when it's in neutral. <laughs> I freaking love this Yakima. I don't care who you are, where you've been. You're right though, it's got that nice spring to it. Oh, it's so handy. This is just a 19,000 pound one and I pulled like a 65,000 pound semi truck through the mud with it. And it worked good, like, especially if the shackles. We do have soft shackles for it, but we have hitches on these trucks, so. so we just loop them in, and we'd be good to go. All right, should we try and get the F-150 going? We'll see. You do a damage assessment? We're not driving very far. Looks like we're squatting pretty hard on the front there, eh? Yeah. You can go join the London Low Lifes Club. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so we blew a shock or blew something on the front? Frames. Maybe we ripped the whole hook off. Like, I think any further forward on the angle, what, it probably would have flipped full frame flip. Really? I got to oh, watch yeah. that. It landed like this. I got to watch that video. Like, the hook's landed in the ground. That's why that one's gone, so. Gonski. Yeah, this side looks good, though. Bumper's crushed in. But, uh, Be a good Kijiji find for Sam. We'll just take a picture, yeah. leave the box missing out, and we'll just take a picture. We had a, we had a ricochet right here, too. What was that from? So, a bullet. Oh, a bullet ricochet. Yeah. yeah oh, yeah. Right. You guys rode here last week or the week yeah. before. So. All right. I'll grab the Noco. We'll pack up the uh, yank and rope and see if we can get this thing going. All right. So all the windows were open. Anybody? Yeah. Anybody need a seat motor? Yeah. So I, I always jump the tires with the windows open in case they smash. The glass doesn't go everywhere. All right. You ready? <laughs> Come on, old girl. You got her in ya. Oh. I forgot it's a Ford. So Fords have a fuel shutoff switch. I oh, you've hammered her hard, right? We've discussed this 10 million times. 
So we'll save our battery in the no-co. Somebody's already commented in the video. Don't oh, yeah. forget about the fuel shut off. The inertia switch. So usually on the F-150s, or on most Fords, they're up there. There you go. Oh, come on. Nice. Imagine that's worth like a million bucks. Probably. Like for Half a mil now it's wet. What's his name? Yeah. Logan Pauls. Ugh. Oh, yeah. Everything's nice soaked. Nice and soaked. So. Ooh, a loony. That's why I buy these vehicles for the change. That's right. The Fords kick out more too. So they're usually up under here. This might take me a few minutes. I like to do it this way though. Huh. Uh, I don't feel it yet. All right, give me a few. All right, I had to watch that. No, you don't. It's you don't even have to take it off. I had to watch quick YouTube video, but it's actually in front here. Oh, it's quarter two. Uh, you need a flashlight. We found the inertia switch. Now let's see if she'll, she'll run. She's marching. Let's see if this works. Oh yeah. Woo, watch the toes, Mark. Jesus. Doors open, hoods open. Alright. He's gonna make this quick. Just won't go in gear. Yeah, so we checked underneath the, there's a massive train leak. So even if we do get it going, well, as you saw, like I literally did one quick loop and that was everything it had. So I think we should just blow it up. Let's do it. Yeah, so we'll tip her out up and we'll drain the oil out of it and we'll fill it full of uh, Dr. Pepper. See how she goes. I mean, I would like to jump it again, but I have a feeling by the time we go pick up training fluid, come back, fill it up, I'm gonna get to the top and it's gonna be empty again anyways. So yeah. I'm not even, I'm not too worried. We had a pretty epic jump with it. So uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's blow up the engine. Let's do it. See you tight. All right, we got her. Oh, she's slick today. Yeah. So, maybe we'll get on some more level ground and uh, 
Tons of time. Tons, lots of time. Flies are coming. They're out. everywhere. All right. Uh, neutral. Neutral. This thing is uh, ready to go. Too much of a pain in the butt. I'm gonna have to adjust the rope too. Yeah, it's not quite grabbing there anymore. All right, here we go. Attempt number two. Readjust this Yankum rope. Oh, yeah. Right where you wanted it. Uh oh. Slip off there. Yeah. Whatever. We're still good. So I got the safety factor built into these things anyway, so. What's that? The safety factor, the weight safety factor. We'll be good. good thing I always have a spare yank. Just in case situations like this arise. Right. Uh, Greasy. I'll straighten her back up here. There we go. One handed operation here. Come on, get on there. Get on there. There you go. Good job of plowing. Might be trickier than we thought. I know. I think it might catch there in that little little culvert there. One more. It's buried in that a divot culvert, whatever you want to call it. Doesn't help that I'm spinning on that. Yeah. Just slides it back. Right. It's getting up. It's just pulling your truck back. Got it! Is that good? That's good! Okay. <laughs> ah. So there's our tranny leak, as you can see. Yeah. All the cats are cut off, as you can see, as well. Ford uh, F-150 cats are expensive, but anyways, here's where the oil is. We'll, that uh, plug there, Mark? That plug right there. Yeah, all right. So little we'll, tutorial for anybody on YouTube. Yeah, we'll pop that out and uh, drain her out, and then mm -hmm. hold her wide open with some Dr. Pepper. Let's do it. It's a little greasy out. Like that. I think that's good. All right. You good? Jesus. Bing. All right. Mud City. Bit of a cluster to get the oil out, but we got her out. All right, we got Dr. Pepper. Make sure the uh, label's facing out eh, so we can see it. There you go, yes. All right, let's fill her up. I'll just dump her straight up and down. Put her right in. There we go. Yeah. Perfect. That's going to be a good one. All right. Let's do it.
Kind of smell good. Yeah. Kind of smell good. Kind of smells good. Yeah. Well, it did. Yeah. It's like maple syrup, Dr. Pepper. Well, that was a cluster, but we figured it out. Glad it uh, it went all right. Obviously, you know, we wanted to jump and stuff, but this truck. She had her final jump and she's on her way out. Time to get some more vehicles and maybe jump the Dodge next. So thank you again. Thank you, Chris, for coming yeah, out. Good times. Always. The wind's picking up quick, so we'll end there. So thank you guys for watching. Don't do anything we wouldn't do and uh, blow up your uh, local Ford. <laughs> we'll see you later.